minutes. Okay, you ready? Oh, you've been filming the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Taylor, co-founder of Fifth Axis. Five Dev is our new bicycle component division. Five Dev is an abbreviation for Fifth Axis Development. Um, today, we are going to take you through the design and development, programming, prototyping, and uh, uh, machining of our new titanium stem. We're going to give you an inside look at um, the engineering process, uh, CNC programming, and all the steps that kind of go on behind the scenes to develop these cool new products. Essentially, we took everything out of this thing that we could while still having our clamp diameters where we wanted them to be. Ran a couple different loading scenarios. So like right here we have torsion, like if you're hitting a curve super hard. Here we have torsion, like if, uh, I don't know, say if you, if you hit a rock and your, your bar is kicked to the side really hard. And you know, what, is, what does that look like in regards to stress in the part? You know, as long as we don't have any of these red areas right here, we, we can see that we're not failing as well as we can, you know, run these factor of safety charts, right? So, you know, we're, all our load is well, well below, you know, the threshold, given that it's titanium, has such high yield strength. Right, so we took this to a machine, um, a couple five axis operations and have finished parts that we can then take to the trail and, and you know, see see what we do like about it. You know, not only in CAD, but when we're you know riding it on the trail, see how it performs, see if it reflects our simulation data. So some of the uh, you know results that we got from actually taking it to the trail, having a finished machine part, you know, start pulling these contours out. You know, still still trying to maintain as minimal material as possible. You know, keep the weight down, but you know something that looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. To where our finalized design that we ended up running in titanium is this guy right here, um, and it's just a matter of aesthetics from from here on out, right? Like, how do these contours match up? How does this look when you're you know in the cockpit and you know looking down at it? What's it look like from the front? You know how our clamp diameters fit up. Then we take that into cam, right? So then we start machining it. So right, so this is like the, the stock that you saw over at the Hermle, you know, with the dovetail on it. We're pulling our fixtures right here. Had that dovetail fixture that we used so that we could get to pretty much the whole part at once. We're trying to rapid prototype this thing, right? So. This is how we can verify like, hey, is your tool hanging out far enough? You know, are you gonna smack into your stock? Are you gonna smack into your fixture? Like some of these five axis moves when you're just looking at lines on the, the screen, it gives you a lot more confidence being able to run like a full machine simulation and giving you feedback like, hey, you're good here, you're not good here, make some adjustments here. This is where we did like that big 3D step over for these nice scallops right here, right? get some of that feedback in regards to what it's going to look like. And that's pretty much the finished part right there. So if we look at, you know, our, our factor of safety chart, we could, you know, give this thing three times the load that we've applied here, the factor of safety of 2.8 and still not fail, like be right on the verge of failing essentially. Yeah, you, you run through the whole production program on a computer so that before even getting to the machine, you know if you're within your travel limitations or if you're going to be crashing into the fixturing, where you have clearance, where you don't have clearance, if you need to extend your tool to find a different holder. Um, so before we even get to the machine, we're verified knowing that we can make a good part, essentially, without any collisions. <laughs> it's already lighter. It's already super lighter. <laughs>